Hello everybody. As promised, this is our review of Normandy Farms Campground in Foxborough, Massachusetts. camped here the weekend after Memorial Day and this is a just a kind of a general overview of the campground to give you an idea of what it's like we really enjoyed this place and hope you will too when you first check in uh, you're given a paper with a QR code to scan for entrance to the campground and this is the guard gate to let you in this is our campsite. We were in campsite 21. And you can see how spacious it is. We've never been here before. We just picked it randomly, to tell you the truth. Each lot has a fire ring. Some lots have concrete pads. This one did not. But each lot also had a picnic table. And they're divided, kind of like Disney's are divided. As we walk around the campground, we noticed there was a lot of uh, doggy dooley stations or dog cleanup stations. It's a very dog friendly campground. This is a view from the backside of the uh, softball or baseball diamond. There was benches you can sit there and watch the teams play if you wanted to. And a place there um, different groups can sell their wares. This is a view as we're coming up to the fishing pond. Very nice fishing pond. There was uh, equipment for rent at the, at the uh, office. And they had an area here with a big fire ring. They have a campfire program at night. There are yurts. That we saw three yurts on top of the hill here you could rent. Uh, they look very nice. And they overlook the pond area. And as we walked around, we saw wild turkeys uh, here and there. This field here uh, is marked off for dodgeball tournaments. They actually hold dodgeball uh, tournaments on the weekends, which looks like sounds fun. Here's another view of the uh, softball diamond or baseball diamond and scoreboard back there. This is a the adult pool, and it was kind of chilly, so there's no one in it. Of course, there's a hot tub. And a really nice sized pool. Uh, no alcohol or glass. Here's a view of the basketball court. Everything you notice around here is very professionally done. All the equipment is top notch. You notice the fencing around it. You notice the benches everywhere and um, trash cans. Even the trash cans are commercial quality. This is a view of the tennis courts. And there's all, you can also use them as pickleball courts. There were uh, water stations throughout the campground for water bottles and water fountains. You notice the bike racks everywhere, benches throughout the campground. All the common areas had this stamped concrete um, pathways, which was really nice, very attractive. The lighting everywhere was commercial quality lighting. I mean, they left nothing out of this campground. Everything was seeming to be top notch. This is the sidewalk that leads you over here to the playground. And you can see the playground is very nice. They had uh, several cabins for rent, and they all look pretty nice. 
This is a view of the clubhouse from the back side, and there was a uh, snack bar just to the right, just to the right there. And at the snack bar, they had burgers, fries, ice cream, um, barbecue. You could even order a whole hog. They delivered right to your campsite if you wished. They had internet access. This is one of the internet access nodes we saw. All the lots are really spacious. Here's an example of a lot. And just a view up the road here. There's another shower house and um, laundry room. The campground had a storage area if you wanted to store your camper. And if you look in the distance, there was a, a solar farm. I'm not sure whose that was. This is a horseshoe pit. You can see it's covered. If you look further out, there's a uh, BMX bicycle track. There's a volleyball net, volleyball court. Here's another uh, shower house and uh, laundry facility. They had um, this pavilion set up. And I already told you about the horseshoe pits. Normandy Farms also has their own disc golf course at 18 holes. And if you look at the map really closely, you can see another baseball diamond. Um, the map also shows the, um, the BMX bike track and another RV storage area. Here's one of the holes for the disc golf course. This is hole one. And everything is, you know, it's pretty nice disc golf course there. It's not just a homemade job there. That's a professionally done basket. Keep on walking. Here's a hole four for the disc golf course. Coming up on the lodge, this is a separate building. The lodge had a uh, shuffleboard courts. And you can see there's picnic tables with uh, umbrellas down the middle of them. Really nice. Here's one of the pools. Looks like it's four feet deep throughout. This is separate from the adult pool we saw earlier. And there's another pool. I believe that's a kiddie pool behind that pavilion. And another view of the lodge. This is the laundry room at uh, this campground. One of the laundry rooms. I think there was three or four of them. And believe it or not, it takes quarters, good old quarters. Took three dollars to wash and twenty-five cents to dry. Took a couple quarters to dry though, but it was immaculately clean. They came by every day and cleaned the bath and cleaned this uh, laundry room. And they may have done it several times a day. For all we know, we just didn't happen to see it. <laughs> Here's a view of the, uh, well, the men's side, shower house, anyway. They had uh, sinks lined up. And you'll notice how clean it is. Everything was just immaculately clean. And even the showers were really clean. All materials were made so it easy was easy to clean for them. Here's a list of some of the other features that uh, this campground offers. These are items that we just did not have time to go over in this video, nor did we uh, partake of them when we were there. Please subscribe to our channel if you uh, haven't already, and thanks for watching.